new Super Mario Bros. Wii completion number two of my 431 game backlog, and I have some thoughts on the game. Stick with me, we'll tater rater the game at the end of the video and see where it lands. First off, there's a lot to like here. There's a lot of fun to be had in this game, but it isn't a must play for me. I think the better option for most people in 2023 is gonna be getting new Super Mario Bros. U on Switch and playing through that. And the reason for that and the biggest issue I have with the game is it feels really inconsistent from the start to the end. And I don't know if this is a byproduct of trying to design a game with levels around a simultaneous multiplayer this was the first time they tried this with a Mario game. I I'm just not sure, I can't put my finger on it. And level design is so key in these games, the 2D platformers, 3D platformers, especially in Mario games, which are known to set the bar, raise the bar, and set the entire playing field for the most part. It has to feel fun, it has to feel fresh, and it has to keep that feeling going throughout each world, throughout the next progression on as you're playing through the game. It has to make you feel like you're accomplishing something and having fun at the same time, and it's, it's just not an easy task. For one, the game doesn't start off with anything really memorable, and I don't mean story-wise. We don't play these games for the story, and this one, I think it's Peach's birthday and the Koopa kids crash it and kidnap her. So there you go, you're off and running. What I mean by memorable is the first level when you get into the game and you're dropped right in and you get going, it's okay. It's a Mario level, but it feels real safe, real familiar, nothing spectacular, nothing that blows your mind and nothing that you're gonna think about after you turn the game off. And that can be fine, I get it. It's their first try at a simultaneous multiplayer, playing a little bit safer maybe. You can do that, but you have to end the game spectacularly. It has to blow your socks off. And spoiler warning for anybody that hasn't beat the game and doesn't wanna know, the final boss fight with Bowser, you run away from him as he shoots fireballs at you, and you run away from him for a little bit, and then you jump on a switch, and that's it. Maybe maybe that's just years of Nintendo spoiling me with, with new innovations and new ways to do things and thinking up new ideas to do the same old things with doing them in, in different ways. Maybe that's why I just kind of felt underwhelmed. I don't know. Because there are some stellar levels in this game, but you've got to get into it a little bit to find them. They're in there, though, and they're well thought out, and you can tell the love and the, and the polish was put onto them, and they were played a ton to make sure they got them just right. And they're in there, there's some, but they're a little too few and far between for me. I also felt like there was a ton of auto scroll levels. Man, I do not like auto scroll levels in side scrollers. <laughs> or if you're gonna put them in, make sure they're interesting, fun, challenging, and not just sitting around being bored. And if you die three quarters of the way through, you go back and sit around and wait for the stuff to move. Auto scroll levels, man, get rid of them. One other issue I had with felt inconsistent was the items overall in the game. You got normal mushroom makes a big star. That's fine. There is a mini mushroom in the game that I never even used once. I never came across it in a level. I got some through mini games and never once felt the need to use it. The game didn't really push me in a direction where I felt like, oh man, mini mushrooms really going to work there. I'm going to use it. So I literally went from start to the end of the game without using that item. And that's bad design to me. They have the ice flower in the game, which is pretty cool. You can freeze enemies, use them as a platform. You end up being able to use them to throw at other enemies. That's cool. The problem is there's another item of the penguin suit, which does the exact same thing. Plus allows you to swim much better. You can slide on your belly to go through fast break bricks. It's a really cool item and a cool suit. Kind of negating the need for the ice flower. It feels really, it's weird. They're at odds for me. Could have maybe put something else in there in place. And finally the propeller mushroom, which feels kind of OP and maybe it's supposed to, maybe that's for four player games where it's just kind of madness and you're bouncing all over and flying all over. But otherwise you can just get that mushroom in the levels it's in and just pretty much fly to the end of the level. Speaking of multiplayer, I was able to play a little bit of two player with my son. It was enjoyable. It was fun, but really quickly, it feels a little bit frustrating because you're bonking each other. You're jumping on each other's heads. You can just pick guys up, chuck, chuck your friend around and stuff like that. It almost felt like you're playing against each other instead of being able to work together to solve some of maybe the, the issues or the challenges in the level, which did not feel super geared towards multiplayer, which feels strange in a game where the first time they're doing simultaneous multiplayer action in a Mario game. But the fun from it came from sitting right next to him and, and playing a game at the same time and enjoying it. I, 
can never say enough how much I love couch co-op games. And that gets big points for me. Couch co-op is huge. So, so the first implementation of it in Mario didn't quite hit the way maybe they wanted it to. Uh, but I'm excited to actually go through and play the one on Switch to, to see how it is. And the last thing that bugged me was, of course, the motion control stuff, which just feels incredibly dated. I really wish there was an option that they had had the foresight to think maybe they could just turn this stuff off. The mechanics they put the motion controls around can easily be done with one or two button presses. They do not add any fun. This isn't fun when you want to twirl or you want to do something and you're shaking the Wiimote. That's not fun. Or on the tilt levels where you have to you basically turn your controller and then keep playing. Is that supposed to be for added challenge? Is it supposed to be fun? It's it's not. It's it's gimmicky and it was put in there just because oh the Wiimote have motion controls. It's a Mario game. We got to put the motion controls in. Feels tacked on. It didn't age well at all. I just wish there was a way to get it out of there. Overall, in the end, this is a decent Super Mario experience. It's a good game. I know I'm tearing it apart a little bit, but I feel like I need to be honest about the, the playthrough and what I was experiencing during it. It's just not the memorable magic that we're used to. And the year that you play the game to get that magic feeling doesn't matter. I recently just played Super Mario Galaxy for the first time through in 2023, and it was magical. That game is spectacular. I'm still thinking about it. That's the kind of experience you want to come away from when you're playing a Mario game and it just wasn't here for me. That being said uh, on the Tater Raider scale I do give this game a three happy potato faces out of five. It's good. It's fun. If you got it play it. It's couch co-op. If you have it laying around on an old Wii plug it in and play with your kids. It's it's good. It's good. It's a fun game. So thanks for hanging out and watching the video. Don't forget to let, let me know in the comments. Have you played this one? Did you play the four player action? Is it as crazy as I think it would be? Did I miss out on the absolute strength of this game by not playing it four player? I don't think so. But if I did, you know, let me know. So I'm on to the next game in Project Backlog. Be kind to yourselves and be kind to other people that deserve it. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. The mechanics they put it around easily, easily, the mechanics they put it around can easily be.